Good morning traders. It is Monday, December the 9th. Taking a look at the morning charts here, we've got the SP500 30 minute chart. If you if you look up at the top here, you can see it's the ESZ3 contract 30 minute chart. And more or less each one of these horizontal bars here is one trading session between. So we're going back um, about a month and change. Anyways, you can see the market's gone from these oversold uh, pullbacks and how they bounce up the 20 day moving average, which is this green line here. More or less, last week we dipped into oversold territory, continued to grind its way down, came down to the 20-day moving average, and Friday we got a really strong pop and a close up near the highs. Now overall, the equities market uh, right now is set to gap higher. We did have a very strong weekly chart closing, which I talked about on Friday morning, and um, that points to generally a continuation for another week or two of higher prices so we are starting to get a gap higher this morning it's going to put us into possibly an overbought territory where we'll take some money off the table now we did get in uh, depending how you got in on the alert if you got in on the alert we got in over here if you were late or you waited you might have got in somewhere down here so we, either way we're, we're in the green just a little bit but we do have to pull some money off if the market goes into overbought territory that's for a couple reasons the market could be starting a three-wave correction to the downside this is going to be the first reason for the market to want to uh, roll over and hit resistance we are into a high volume resistance high if we look at the volume flow we can see here we've got uh, a ratio of three here meaning there's three buyers to every one seller whenever we get a ratio of three or more uh, usually the market is uh, possibly getting overbought and we could see a pullback keep in mind the overall trend is up so we will be overbought more times than not what we're looking for more or less are uh, spikes uh, of the selling here uh, and buying pullbacks within a downtrend but uh, so we do have a couple things pointing to possible short-term high in the equities market. And if we look at the overall momentum index, let's pull this chart back up here. You can see here we've got an overbought territory, which is the 101. Anything above this zone, we consider the market to be overbought on a daily basis. Anything below the 99, we can consider it to be oversold, and we usually see a bounce the next day. So Friday's big pop in price. Uh, brought us pretty close to this level really we want to see it close close above that level but overall you can just see where we're starting to get to that overbought territory and um, we could get there today if we get a gap higher now taking a look at the futures this morning so you can see the actual 24-hour uh, chart a 10-minute 24-hour chart here is uh, uh, Friday's price action this high volume section right here we ended up closing there and this morning we're seeing more or less futures uh, gapped up they're trading slightly higher overall we've had a nice move up and they're flagging here in, in pre-market trading starting to run up and looking as though they want to push to new highs and uh, if we do get a, a big run we'll uh, hopefully get a uh, partial profit taking this morning and we could see this run all the way up to around the 1830 level which is uh, quite a bit higher yet to go now taking a look at energies uh, or let's, sorry, let's just take a look at the UUP uh, ETF, the US dollar index. Over here, we're, we're continuing to see it pull back. It's kind of uh, losing its upward momentum, and uh, we're just kind of leaving uh, the US dollar as it is. We don't really want to get involved with it. Now, taking a look at the crude oil chart, it's a four hour chart of crude oil. It's had a pop up in price, it's trading up into these previous highs, this mid zone where these two clusters are. Overall, um, Really, we want to see some type of bullish price action. I'm not a fan when price continues to run higher like this. It could easily extend and continue, but really we want to see a bull flag form, not a, uh, a flag uh, pointing in the direction of the trend. That usually means you can get a very sharp pullback at any time. Now taking a look at natural gas, here's the 60-minute chart of natural gas. Continues to, to move up there. Let's just go to the daily chart. Or we'll go to the four-hour chart real quick. And you can see here we're having a fairly substantial run. It has yet to show a reversal candle really on the daily chart. And I feel as though we're, we're seeing something similar to over here. We had a major run up and then we had a big correction. And then we started to see it get up near resistance. Instead it broke away and continued to extend. Same thing, we had a big run up correction. It's been chopping around here. It got up into where we thought was resistance 
instead is really popped and it's holding and it could easily continue to push to new highs so the natural gas play because we didn't get that sharp reversal candle uh, and it's still holding up very strong really above this upper um, pattern that we were kind of looking at we were looking for it to be in the sweet spot and get a sharp reversal for this broadening formation instead we didn't get that it's extended so now that that pattern is negated <clears throat> excuse me and we're just kind of gonna watch it and see how things unfold from there now taking a look at the chart of precious metals this is gold chart you can see here we've been tra trending down for a while here uh, more or less it's been chopping around the last couple of weeks got some strong volume coming in we are down near a, a somewhat of a oversold territory it looks as though it's trying to build a bit of a base we are down around this previous low here and you can see we've got some some strong volume the last few sessions as uh, money is starting to accumulate down at these lows uh, overall not getting uh, too excited about price here I'd rather see some bullish price action than and get long at much higher prices when the momentum and the trend is behind it then trying to pick a bottom when uh, it seems everybody else is trying to uh, accumulate at a low but the overall trend is down it could very easily um, continue to fall now that being said we got a short-term little mini basing pattern we've got some strong volume coming in wouldn't be surprised if we see a pop uh, somewhere up here we're gonna have a resistance trend line somewhere across this level here and it'll find some high volume resistance right whoops right through this consolidation zone around the 1320 also taking a look at the chart of silver same thing finding a little bit of support this morning gold silver up fractionally uh, overall some strong volume the cat past couple sessions but again it really has yet to break any resistance if we were just to throw price by volume on this chart real quick just zoom in here recent price action and you just take this high volume volume by price and drag that straight across then you can see here we're still under key resistance price more or less was trading sideways through here and then it broke down on strong volume it is now bounced up it's stuck under that this is now once a floor is now a ceiling and more or less it's trading under that level so we're still continuing to make lower highs lower lows the trend is down for precious metals now taking a look at the gold miners real quick the GDX ETF it's the four hour chart again same thing bearish looking chart it, it has had a significant run to the downside just looking at any of these previous moves I feel as though you know we're, we're probably due for some type of pop in in precious metals and gold miners and we could easily see it pop up to this 23 maybe 24 level and then it could easily continue to work its way back down now taking a quick look at bonds Here's the chart of bonds they're trading up this morning and uh, you can see here they're, they're flirting with these previous lows overall not too much of a fan of the bond chart uh, right now it has squeezed to a new low it has this basing formation that it's been trying to form but the fact that it uh, it pierced it uh, last week uh, it was a news base spike it didn't close anywhere down there so this basing pattern could easily still be in uh, intact but uh, we really do need to see price eventually move up and consolidate and start to uh, uh, build a bullish pattern and a break from this pattern would take it uh, significantly higher. Anyways, that's it for this morning, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye.